Hello citizens, how is it going? It's Crystal Palace first Manchester City in the Premier League on Monday night. It's a big, big game, but of course, every game is too. But first, we jump into it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. In particular, the like button, it helps me be seen by more people, and I really appreciate you all being here as usual. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. That's all I've got to say on that one. So let's jump into it. So like I said, we've got Crystal Palace and every game is big. Of course, we cannot afford to drop a single point because Liverpool do not look like they're going to drop any points either. And with the game against Liverpool yet it had coming up, I think it's imperative that we're three points clear going into that game. So it's a huge, huge game. And of course, Crystal Palace beat us earlier in the season. And to me, they deserved it as well. I thought we were pretty poor that game. And it's not the only poor game we've had this season. We've had quite a few. Of course, we recently got lucky against Everton. I thought more than likely they probably should have had a penalty. But it was a hard-fought win, and it's shown a bit of character and a little bit of determination on our part. And then we played United as well, and we smashed quite a really poor Man United. They, they were really bad that game. I mean, the second half said it all, and you've heard it all. They were lazy. They were, you know, they, they didn't try and... So we, we kind of got off easy. And then we played Sporting and we had a boring nil-nil draw. Not one try. We, we had the ball in the net. Jesus' goal was disallowed, which is unfortunate for him. But I mean, we were already 5 nil up. So that game didn't really mean much anyway. It wasn't really a true reflection of where we're going to be going into this game. But we have to start this one off. Well, we saw it the Etihad when they beat us there. They, they took an early lead and then the time wasting kicked in and we got more frustrated and they hit us on the counter again. And they're going to... They're probably going to do the same thing. And Crystal Palace won a good run of form. They beat, beat Watford 4-1 away from home. They drew Burnley. Because Burnley are playing decent at the moment. I mean, Burnley are trying to rack up them points to stay alive. So 1-1 against Burnley isn't a poor result for them. They beat Stoke in the FA Cup. And then they beat Wolves 2-0 in the league. The last game was 2-0 win away at Wolves. Which again is no easy feat. So Crystal Palace are in decent form. They're going to fancy the chances. And... You know, Vieira's got them playing really well. And of course, we can't forget Saha. He's just a scourge of every team, isn't he? He's one of those players that you hate to play against. Then you'll love him if you're if he's on your side. So yeah, where does that leave us? Well, we've got Diaz still out injured, which is unfortunate because we're going to need him going in to the Liverpool game. But it looks like we're going to miss him. Um, and Cancelo's a little bit ill. Hopefully he's back for this game. We're going to know in a couple of days. Pep said in his press conference that he's still feeling it. And he's going to see at the end of the week. Hopefully he's back tomorrow in time for it. And because we can't really afford to have him out, especially with their pace too, that they're going to hit us on the counter. I don't think Sinchenko's going to be able to live with him. Hopefully Walker's back as well. Um, that'd be nice. And yeah, going forward, we got Jesus. I think I'd probably start Jesus. I really like him this season. I think he's doing really well. I think he had a good game against Sporting too. It's just his energy levels. You know, him, Folden, when you got them up front together... The amount of energy they put into the game, the closing down. They're really um they're really aggressive combination and they, they work really well together. And I fancy Jesus going into the middle more than anyone else as well, because he has played that role for us. We know he likes being on the wing now, but he did at one point replace Aguero for a little while for us. Now, I can't see him dropping Mares. Mares is scoring goals. I don't think Mares is playing his best football. I've heard him people saying that he's, you know, he's the best he's ever been. I disagree, but he's scoring goals. So that's one thing we've got to look forward to, and that's one thing we've got to say as well, that, that some of the team this season, we've been a bit critical of our goal-scoring form, and Mahrez fits that quite well. So with him scoring goals, I don't think he can drop him. But I, I can see him going with maybe Grealish again as well, because I think against United, Grealish had his best game for us. I think he was phenomenal. He didn't get any assists, and he didn't get any goals, but his link up play with Folden on that left-hand side and Bernardo Silva and Cancelo. I thought he was fantastic, Grealish. I thought he carried the ball really well. I thought he's really dominant over Wan Bissaka. And yeah, I, I thought he had a really good game. So I don't think I would drop him for this one. I think I'd bring him back in. And I, if it was Folden, Grealish, and but, um, Mares up front, I don't think I could complain again. You know, I, th I think they did really well in the derby. Now, as for midfield, I think De Bruyne's playing the best football of his season. He had a really poor start to the season. It took him once to get going, of course, injury, illness, and all that. But now he's back and against United as well. He was so, so dominant. How United let him play for all that space, I have no idea. But every time he picked up the ball, he looked dangerous. His passing was always on. You know, he everything was inch perfect with him. And of course, he got his two goals. Yeah, you could say they were a bit scruffy, but he was in the right place. And that's what we need. Again, we're going into the tail end of the season. We need people in the right place more consistently. And he did that against United. So he plays for me. Bernardo Silva, I don't think you can ever drop him. His work rate, especially in games like this, away from home. 
against a team like Crystal Palace, who notoriously give us a hard time at Selhurst Park. I don't think you can drop him. And of course, then in defense, you're going to have Stones and Laporte. Stones for me, he was fantastic again against Sporting. I thought he was brilliant. Good against United. And Laporte, I mean, he's the only left footed defender we've got right now. So, yeah, that, that'd be the team lineup, I imagine. And like I said, we can't afford to drop points. Liverpool are not going to drop points. So, it's up to us to keep it going and keep the run going. You know, if we win every game now going into um, April, we, we win the league, don't we? I think it's basically that. If we win every game now through to, well, middle of April, you can say we've, we're probably going to win the league and be champions because I think that includes Liverpool. Number. I think we played them early April. Yeah. Now, I saw an interesting thing as well that we could be playing Liverpool four times in April in a row. You know, if we get them in the Champions League because we'll have them in the league, then the Champions League, and if we get them in the FA Cup semi-final, if we get through Southampton, which is going to be a tough game too. Could have the four times in a row, and that'd be crazy, then, wouldn't it? How many things do you think we'd win? I don't know. I'd, I'd pause down. Be a tough one. I wouldn't want to like, I wouldn't want to put a bet on it. But yeah, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. As always, a little bit of a ramble today. Uh, yeah, it's just a... I don't know. Palace. Ah, who enjoys going away to Palace? Not me. But yeah... That's the match react, well, match preview, sorry. And yeah, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. Now, I will be doing a watch along on Monday night as well, so make sure to join me for that. I'll probably be doing it from 7.45. But yeah, check in, tune in, and thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.